Katrina, sometimes you go to sketch a roof and roof snap, and there's just a field. How does that happen? Well, new construction, <laughs> right? Sure. And if you're going to be quoting the roof portion of new construction, you're probably working from blueprints, mm -hmm. from architectural drawings. And we have a solution for that. Awesome. You notice here within the sketch screen, we have this import button. Yeah. Let's go ahead and tap on that. I actually have a folder here in my images on my iOS device of a couple blueprints. Perfect. And let's say this little residential house is what's being built. So I tapped on it and it's loaded it into my screen here. I need to pinch and zoom a little bit to resize it. I want it to fill the screen, but I don't want it to go beyond the border of the screen here. So I want to get that size just about right. And then I have the snap and start drawing in the upper right hand corner. Now it's a little more difficult to see because we have this white background here. We got a little bit of shadow A little, there. little bit of shading there. So we'll go ahead and tap on that. And it gives us some instructions. Mm -hmm. We need to set the scale. So in order to set the scale, we need to draw one line that reflects a known distance. Now, luckily, um, with this, what, if I remember right, what is the division seven uh, page of your architectural drawings will have scale lines on it. Now, not all architects are the same, and so maybe sometimes there might be um, like a scale measurement. So let's, let's switch to zoom and pan for a second. So maybe you have a scale line on the drawing. Mm -hmm. Or in this case, we have a linear measurement, 17 feet, 2 inches. That's going to be perfect for us. Now, if you don't have a linear measurement right within the architectural drawing, you may have to take the scale that accompanied the drawing mm -hmm. and actually calculate one linear measurement so that way you can apply the scale. Gotcha. In this case, let's go ahead and zoom in get that 17 foot 2 inch line uh, roughly centered there in the screen and then we're going to flip back over here to the draw mode. Okay. This is going to be very similar to sketching in roof snap. We're going to start our cursor at the very left end of that line, tap on the screen and draw out the line and I'm going to lean in here so that I can get it right on. You want to be very accurate with this line. As soon as you have it in place, tap on the screen again and now we manually put in that measurement to set the scale. And when we're inputting this measurement, we do want to make sure that we convert any um, any inches to decimal, correct? Yep. So the two inches is 0.17 inches. Perfect. So we convert it over to that, and then we tap on OK. Now we have set that scale line. If we wanted to do it again, we could draw a different line, but this one's set. So we're going to tap on this Accept button here in the upper left brings us back out to the project screen. Mm -hmm. Now when we tap on sketch it reloads and this image is now set to scale. Perfect. Just to kind of show you that we'll go back to draw and we'll redraw that line and we are at 17.1.2.1 dead on. Super close. Awesome. One suggestion when you're setting the scale for blueprints, you do want to use a longer line to do so. Absolutely, Katrina. So in this case, the 17 foot 2 inch line was the longest scale line that we have on this drawing. You know, we've got a 5 footer there. Um, we've got some 4 footers. Uh, there are other measurements that we could have used, but you always want to use the longest available measurement. If you knew the total length of the eave all the way across the back as the longest linear measurement on this roof, uh, that would be the ideal measurement to use. But in this case, we don't have a calculated measurement for that entire length. Uh, you also want to always use measurements that are horizontal, mm -hmm. which means you don't want to use valley measurements. You don't want to use um, hip measurements or rake measurements. You always want to use uh, measurements that are level with the ground, horizontal measurements. Absolutely.